Hello Leo, this is Solomon. I'm going to welcome you to your weekly reading for the week of February the 20th to the 26th of 2017. Alright, so until March the 21st, the sun will be in Pisces activating your 8th house of transformation. Uh, rebirth, sex, death, taxes, legal matters could pop up, uh, joint resources with your partner, and a lot of healing and transforming uh, within yourself, your emotions. Uh, you could be dealing with the loss of others and, you know, healing from relationship wounds and a lot of interchange going on, okay? So, let's see what's going on with you uh, for the week, Monday through Sunday. Energies for Leo. This is a Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday and Thursday. And then Friday to Sunday. <clears throat> okay. Now Monday and Tuesday, we do have the moon in Sagittarius, and that's bringing out your fifth house of love, creativity, entertainment, uh, children, and romance with uh, in your friendships, all right? So we do have the Knight of Swords, who could be an Aquarius Libra or Gemini. This could be a child or friend, a romantic partner. Um, this is also your energy where you could be very hasty and argumentative about certain things that you're dealing with. Maybe you're rushing to reach a certain milestone, uh, because you do have the Six of Swords, and then you have the Ten of Pentacles here. So, um, a lot of you with that Fifth House being activated, you know, you could be around um, friends and family. You could also be working on maybe a new home, around the home, maybe some home improvements. But I do feel like some of you are possibly still uh, rushing to get away from maybe a certain relationship or situation that has not really been... Um, fulfilling to you very promising someone is possibly uh, moving on say if you are in a relationship and you've had some kind of attachments with someone else um so to speak and they have kind of moved on and moved away from you you may be kind of um wanting to chase them you kind of wanted to say some things to them uh, in a way so that's kind of what i kind of see in this scenario but I do feel like some of you, um, also, this could be someone actually popping up in your life who had some things to kind of say. This could be someone returning from your past or uh, kind of coming to travel to see you. There could be some kind of travel in here, you know, cross waters, um, overseas or something like that. But I do feel like some of you are, you know, trying to move away from some the heavy energies here, especially when it comes to communicating or the thoughts that you may have about uh, things not going right. You know, the Knight of Swords is someone who is rushing to get something done, to get something accomplished, but there's a need to kind of slow down a bit and maybe enjoy the harmony with the Ten of Pentacles, the financial security, abundance, and uh, feeling a bit more um, in your element around uh, your family members and maybe your pets and uh, children as well with your romantic partner all right so that is uh, Monday and Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday we have the moon in Capricorn bringing out your sixth house of work health fitness service to others and helping those who may need to be taken care of a bit if they can't help themselves so you have here the hangman is in reverse you have the ten of swords in reverse then you have the king of swords in reverse so Here's energy say, I feel like some of you are, um, that eighth house energy is um, being activated along with um, that sixth house of work around you know, the moon being in Capricorn. Maybe a lot of busy energy going around uh, you at this time, but I do feel that some of you could be dealing with another Aries, Leo or Sagittarius, but 
there could be someone else, doesn't have to be the sign, that's communicating with you about some kind of things that you have done in the past. I see this card and it reminds me of healing from a lot of dark and heavy energy. So maybe some texting, communicating within your relationship, someone from your past, maybe someone new that you've been hurt by or that you've hurt. You know, someone that's not really trying to take the blame for a certain situation. Uh, the King of Wands in reverse could be someone who is um, a serial dater, you know, dating many different people. Someone has cheated on someone in a way and there's some kind of blame or some kind of healing that's needed to go on before you can uh, move on and make a decision of how to kind of separate from a marriage or a relationship. Uh, that kind of energy. So I do feel like a lot of you are still healing. And this could be some issues with a, um, a supervisor or, or uh, someone that you're dealing with on the job as well with that um, that Capricorn energy, the six house of work and fitness and things like that. It could be a manager or someone, but this is possibly someone around you. But this is also could be your energy as well, where uh, some of you are not really sure if you want to commit in a relationship just yet because you're possibly still healing for some things from the past. And that's where that energy of um, the indecision and decisive energy is coming from where you're running around doing a lot of different things because of that Capricorn energy. You may be very busy, so burning yourself out, not really resting and reflecting. Um, and that's what you may be experiencing uh, Wednesday and Thursday. Okay, So... Friday through Saturday or Friday through Sunday, um, we do have the moon in Aquarius and that's activating your seventh house of relationships, marriage, business partnerships, and one-on-one -on -one relationships as well. So you have the page of pentacles. You have the three of pentacles in reverse, then you have judgment in reverse. So here it's like uh, maybe some of you are possibly working on uh, yourself, you know, uh, learning something new, studying, got, got a new job. Uh, a new business and maybe you're in competition with someone else um, maybe on the job or in your relationship and maybe you don't want to uh, get into that relationship just yet because you're not firmly on your feet and maybe you don't want to you know look less than uh, than another person say if you're in competition with someone else in a relationship and that person has things going on for themselves they have their um, their own place they have a new car or they have um, they're just together so to speak and maybe you're wanting to get to the place that they are so you're not willing to get into a relationship just yet because you may feel that you'll be judged or looked down upon in a way because of this kind of competition that's going on and that's how some people may see a certain situation like that but you know that's just their belief or the way that you may see a certain situation. So judgment is like sometimes you're not um, really working together with your partner just yet, you know, not communicating about your needs and, you know, what can change? How can you work together in a relationship to build? So there is some kind of competition going on, a lack of um, taking responsibility for things uh, that you don't need to change here, you know, trying to turn that around so that you can work in a harmonious way instead of competing or with another person so this could be a three-way situation here so uh, this is about you know new jobs new opportunities here you could be uh, dealing with a, a child as well maybe getting them into school you're going back to school maybe you're working on your health and fitness um, but uh, this is good health maybe abundant energy coming to you so to break the energy here so a uh, major arcana you have how many major arcana you got one two you only got two major arcana but um you don't like to see judgment in reverse um you want to turn that energy around so that you can work together and then you know <laughs> build on something so that you can uh, change some circumstances that you're dealing with right now all right so those will be your energies and you know what um the 26th of february we have the new moon that's going to be in pisces so that's activating your eighth house again so there could be some legal matters that actually pop up uh, maybe Monday after that full moon. On, I mean, that new moon on Sunday. A lot of taxes and legal matters may pop up as well. But a lot of healing and transformation going on. So let's see what the romance angels have for you, uh, Leo. For uh, right the 20th or 26th. Okay. 
Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. All right. So that's what this may be, you know, with that um, three of pentacles in reverse. Um, there could be some issues with communicating, just working together, not really um, someone is being a bit standoffish. You know, this could be reconciliation in a marriage or relationship from the past, but um, maybe you are not really, you don't really know this person just yet. It could be someone new. So uh, maybe there's a need to kind of express how you feel to show some of your maybe insecurities to let them know what you could be having some troubles with um and maybe you won't be able to explain that to them because you could be holding that tight to your chest and not really wanting to reveal um everything that you could be concerned about all right because that's making you feel a bit vulnerable and exposed so i'm um, trying to approach that in the best way that you can let me speak to you in a different way so I hope those messages resonated with your situation. If you would like a private read, you can always come to me via my Facebook page or you can email me to set something up that's going to be specific for you, Leo. Much love and much light.